once I get started here. As I do this, I'm gonna try to answer some questions from you guys, because this is supposed to be an AMA video, an Ask Me Anything. Ah, what a lovely morning for a build. How is it going, Cthulhu crew? Welcome back to some more Unturned on the Gang Z server. Today, oh hey, thank you Weathered for actually cooperating for once. Amazing. <laughs> I've got a good feeling about this already. I'm about to try something I've never done before in Unturned. I, along with your help, am going to make a makeshift vehicle. That's right, my own custom car. I'm excited. I'm going to go full on six seater. I've got everything I need to make that happen. Boom. Oh boy. So before we get into this, guys, I'm going to give you your trigger warning right now. This car is not going to be perfect. All the little plates and stuff that I'm going to put on here will not be 100% lined up. So be forewarned. Cringing will be involved. Face palming may be involved. But I think it's going to turn out well enough nonetheless. So I have done a little bit of testing on my own off camera. I have an idea of what I want to make. Um, so that's at least going to be a starting point. And I have come out here to the, uh, to the Firewatch base because I figured I'm going to need a lot of metal and then this is going to be the best place to farm up a lot of it because they drop helmets, they drop axes, and the, the tops and bottoms are also made out of metal. Uh, so it's going to be a great little metal farm for us. I find it's a lot easier to get metal here than like going out to the uh, the quarry to get it or anything like that. Oh, it's also a great place for uh, for flares, man. If you're if you're in the flare business, <laughs> this is your place. Oh, hey, Flanka. There you go. Um, and what else was I saying about metal? I don't know. This is a good place to get it. Oh, plus I may come across a filter or two. I actually got one filter. Where is it? Uh, I got one. I don't know. I got one filter. I think I put it away already when I was just doing a preliminary quick little sweep through here. So, uh, may get two birds with one stone. A bunch of freaking everything else that I don't really want right now. Bop and bop. So, my basic idea for what to do with this custom vehicle is going to be kind of a Mad Max style vehicle. It's a little crazy, it's got stuff sticking out all over the place, um, it doesn't necessarily make sense all the time, I feel like that would look really cool, and kind of be right up my alley, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, so, gosh, how do I explain this? It's gonna have, on both sides, it's gonna have two uh, safes, two lockers, facing inwards, because I don't want to like see the actual safe handle so the handles are going to be facing inwards into the center so that's going to be the primary siding it's going to cover up a bunch of these seats but i don't plan on making this a uh a commuter vehicle by any means i want it to be just useful have a lot of storage for me in fact oh yeah there's my filter i'm going to go ahead and just grab this guy real quick i'll replace it later but i don't want to spend a ton of time farming resources right off the bat so we're going to grab you up, and I'll show you guys what I'm thinking of for the main sides. So I think I want this one to be right around... Ugh, I hate trying to move little by little in this game. I think I want it to be like right around here. So I'm going to rotate it. And the stupid, ugh, the stupid hot box, hit box, whatever like all up in my face and I can't see where my actual line is. I think something like that. I'm going to try to go into H mode every once in a while just to get a better view of what's going on. That, uh, not horrible. I don't hate it. Um, and then let's see. So I have a few siding pieces and as I do this, once I get started here, as I do this, I'm going to try to answer some questions from you guys, because this is supposed to be an AMA 
a video and ask me anything. And I got a lot of good questions from you guys, so thank you so much for that. Uh, yeah, so like that, not perfect, but it's okay. I can live with that. <laughs> uh, I'm also going to have to freaking top off my food and water all the time, which is going to be harder because our crops have been destroyed. <sighs> freaking other gangs. Anyway, let's put that behind us. Let's move on here. So I'm just going to get things kicked off. I started a, a post on the subreddit for Gang Z, and I asked for questions there, but uh, I also accepted questions um, on my most recent YouTube video, um, just in case people didn't have Reddit accounts and stuff like that, and they still want to ask questions. So first off, we have Nick11888 asks, Would you like seeing an ammo trading center anytime soon? And the answer to that, yes, I absolutely would. I think that would be a really cool idea, um, especially since stuff is a little more rare this season. To be able to trade things that you have that you don't necessarily need uh, would be a good idea, IMO. So if no one else does that, if no one else does that, I might think about doing that because that seems like a good thing to have aboard. So thank you for your question. Uh, let's see, I want these to overlap a little bit. Oh gosh, the placement can get so wonky on these things. Oh my gosh. Next question is from Eric Sippy. What's one thing you would like to see added to the game? Hmm, I think... I think first and foremost, I would really like to see, like, wiring. Think redstone from Minecraft. Just a way that you could, like, wire up your doors and stuff like that. Um, set, set up traps and things. Have a little switch you can flip in the distance to turn on your, your uh, sentry turrets and stuff like that. I think that would be a lot of fun. I would love to see something like that in the game. Will that ever happen? Who knows? But I would love to see it. I don't know, Nelson is pretty awesome at adding good stuff in. So it wouldn't, like, super surprise me, honestly, if he does that kind of thing eventually. Um, let's rotate you a little bit. I want to have extra space in the back here. I'm not... Oh, gosh, I don't think I'm lined up right. I want it to pop up a little bit. Let's just place it and see how it looks. See if I'm off or not. I'm ah uh, Actually... Whoa! Did I just nail that? Now sometimes these things aren't actually where you think they are. I'm going to drive forward for a second see if it's still attached. Dude! <laughs> I freaking nailed that! I'm, I'm amazing! Wow! Alrighty, let me see. Do I have enough metal to make another safe? I didn't really do a whole heck of a lot of metal grinding beforehand. So I need two more bars and then I need three plates. The two bars shouldn't be a problem. I think I'm going to be just shy on the plates though. Yeah, or the sheets. My bad. I need one more chunk of metal. Can I get that from anywhere? Oh yeah, you can scrap binoculars now, which is really nice. I feel like that is long, long overdue. Uh, let's go farm up a little bit more and then I'll answer more questions. Uh, Nizzlewizzle69 is asking, what's your favorite gun in Unturned? I'm probably not the best person to ask, because I haven't played around with every single gun in the game. But at least right now, the Night Raider is one of my favorites. This is not the Night Raider. Gosh darn it. This is my AUG. <laughs> um, and then the Viper is another one of my favorites, because it looks really cool. Um, it takes civvy ammo. It just it feels like a nice all-around gun. And at least for this season, where we have PvP restrictions, um, it seems like it's a really nice one to have on hand. And then... Also, probably the Hell's Fury, because it's just so ridiculous. It is such a ridiculous weapon. It's huge, it's loud, it's a chain gun. You can get a sweet new star-spangled skin for it, so it's like all Americanized. It looks amazing. Uh, I have yet to find one on this server. I think freaking Ty Designs may be the only guy who has one on the server right now. I need to get it from him so badly. 
Uh, but yeah, so those are probably me, my favorite guns. Just fun, goofy guns, and then some good all-around guns as well. But again, there are a number of them that I have not had the pleasure of trying out yet. So there could very well be other guns out there that I end up liking better. So we will see how that goes in the future. I think I have enough metal to at least make one more of these lockers oh, that I wanted. Ah, dang guy. I'm actually not coming across as many scrappable things as I usually do, which is kind of annoying. I think I'll go ahead and place this safe directly opposite the one that uh, is currently on here. So let's go ahead and make up what we need. Boom. And then, that's not how you spell locker. I'm going to constantly call these things safes because they look like a safe. So deal with it, basically. <laughs> Now, what is going to be the best way for me to try to line this up properly? It's really tough to tell what is where exactly. Like, I think... Uh, hold on. So this wheel well over here, I'm, I'm well past the halfway point overlapping that wheel well. So I think if I do something kind of like that... I think that'll work. That might be a little too far past. Let's H mode it a little bit. That might help. Let's place that down and see how that looks. Holy crap! That ain't half bad! The rotation on this one is slightly off. Dude, I'm actually getting okay at this! <laughs> and then as far as the center line is concerned, that ain't half bad either! I mean, it, it is a bit off center. This side is coming out a little bit more. But dang. Oh, actually, that's coming out a lot more. Mm, you know what? For you guys, I'm going to be slightly nitpickier. So we're going to try to bring this thing out a little bit further. Uh, okay, Con Conflan06 is asking, which gang member would you recruit if you could? That sounds like a challenge. If you could. That is a very good question. Oh, I just realized I can kind of use the wheel well to help me line this up as far as like how far forward it's coming. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to like that spacing better, I think. I think I'm going to like that. And then I can move this one back a little bit further. Um, it would have to be probably either Cube from the OPB or Generic B from the SLB. Uh, Cube is just a really cool guy overall. You guys probably saw the uh, the collab I did with him recently going into the dead zone. Really cool guy. I've known him for a while. Ooh, that got worse. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll deal with that eventually. Um, just a really chill guy overall. Fun dude to hang out with. Um, and then Jenny, because he's just such a crazy bugger. A troll, a hermit just he's just a riot a barrel of monkeys as it were um so i feel like he would be fun to have on a gang absolutely let's rotate you a little bit oh no i, I messed up the oh no 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 this is, this is bad um how do i like reset the rotation on this do i have to just switch to a different item and then switch back i'm wondering i don't know idk Oh, gosh. Okay, so let's see. Let's do a little something like that. And let's move forward, and then a little something like that. I think that one's a little too far forward. I also think I don't care too much. <laughs> I think that ought to work. Um, so yeah, Cube or Jenny to answer that question. Uh, the next one is a really, really tough one for me. What is your all time favorite game all time favorite game how is someone supposed to pick one game out of all the video games that are out there that's just insane to me i can't do that there's too many uh, i could tell you what some of my favorite games are though but i don't think there's any one game that is that much better than all the others that i can call it my absolute all-time favorite uh, let me let me line up this this plate and then I'll get to your question. Uh, 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 uh. Mm, oh gosh, this is tough. 
I can see why Jenny said it took him hours to do his vehicle last season. This is tough going. I'd, I'd say I'm not doing terribly, though. Considering my standards or lack thereof, I'm actually kind of going above and beyond what I normally would. That one's pretty bad. The height is completely different. How did... what? Um, so anyway, some of my favorite games over the years, Command and Conquer, that, uh, that whole family of games, was one of my absolute favorites growing up. So much fun. One of those real-time strategy type games. I just, I played the crap out of Red Alert. Um, a bunch of them, honestly. I've spent way more time playing them than I should have. Uh, so that was definitely high on my list. Uh, rotate a little bit. I think that's actually going to be okay. Yeah, much better. Um, League of Legends has been a recurring favorite of mine time and time again. I've actually recently uninstalled it because I spent too much time playing the game and not enough time making the unturned videos for you guys. Like, unturned is more, and just YouTube in general is more important to me than playing the game of League of Legends that I love so very much. So I uninstalled, but I will go back to it eventually, I think. Um, so that's been a big favorite of mine for a number of years now. Uh, Commander Keen was a really fun platformer game for me when I was a kid. And there's, there's a number of those games as well. I think there's like six or seven or somewhere around there. I played most of them. Played them a crap ton as a kid. So if any of you guys happen to be Commander Keen fans, let me know in the comments and we will bond over those. <laughs> Hot dang, filter! Thank you, game! Alright, that's two filters already. Well, I'm trying to build stuff. Awesome. Um, Binding of Isaac? Oh my gosh. I have so, 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 so many hours into the first game. I played that a ton back before I even started my YouTube channel, before I actually played video games for the YouTubes. Um, so I had a lot more free time to just sit around and play games and not worry about recording them. So I have... I have, I believe, possibly thousands of hours in the original game, and then I've played uh, subsequent games like Rebirth and Afterbirth and stuff quite a bit as well. Not as much as the original, but quite a bit. It's just a constant favorite of mine that I can always go back to, play a Binding of Isaac run, have a good time. Um, it's just great. Great overall. I'm glad I'm finding multiple axes, because I'm actually going to need to get some wood pretty soon. So I can scrap one axe, and then I can use the other. This is going pretty well as far as uh, metal farming is concerned. Let's see, any any good stuffs in here? I don't think any of the loot is respawning, but at least the enemies are, so I can farm them up pretty easily. Um, I'm trying to think of any other... I guess Unturned and Ark are my current favorites. Obviously, the videos are doing really well, so thank you so much, you guys, for watching my videos that I put out uh, of these games. It makes it a lot of fun, and they're just they're just really fun games to play in general. Scorched Earth coming out was a godsend. I had gotten kind of burned out on Ark, honestly. And then Scorched Earth came out, and it's awesome. It's so much fun. And then, obviously, Unturned is amazing. You guys love it. I love it. It's so fun. Especially with this gang. This gang Z. Oh gosh, this thing is really wonky to move around. This server I get to be a part of makes it just that much more fun. This is not really doing what I want to do. That's kind of what I want. It's a little off, but I can live with it. <laughs> let's, uh, let's break down one of these and then use the other one real quick here. Uh, oh no! <gasps> I didn't think of this. I don't want to use freaking birch. Um, is there anything non-birch around, or is this just the absolute birchiest birch forest ever? Well, crap! I mean, I'd settle for maple! What is that? What is that tower? What the actual fudge? Holy! Someone been busy! Okay, I don't know if that should be shown off yet or not. <laughs> we'll just leave that be. Alright, it looks like there's nothing but birch, so... I'll go ahead and use birch for now. 
and then I think I will swap out off camera later just because I don't want to spend the time to go tracking down some birch it's not a super super tough part for me to replace later on so let's grab up some of these birch logs oh man oh man this was a generous tree uh, okay, so that's it for R3's question. Thank you very much, R3. The next one is from Fanatic Phantom. Any other series planned after Wolf Cooks, Ark, Gangzi, etc. ends? I love all the series, but I'm wondering what may be next in the off chance those end. That's a tough one. Um, I don't, I don't already have anything planned. Um, hmm. That's a very good question. Ooh, large birch plate. I think I want that. Yeah, I don't currently have anything planned, honestly. I haven't thought that far out. Because <laughs> um, all the series I have, I plan on keeping them going for, for a good while still. Um, I, I would like to expand into other games besides Ark and Unturned. So that could be a potential for the future. Okay, I think this is kind of what I want. But yeah, I don't I don't have anything planned out that far yet, Fanatic Phantom. I'm I'm really enjoying what I've got going on so far and I plan on keeping going with that for a little while yet. So I hope you guys are into that and I hope you will keep watching and enjoying the content. So, in case you guys are wondering, this is going to be my rendition of a cow catcher. So a cow catcher... Eh, spacing's not great. A cow catcher is kind of the, the toothy grill that you might see on the front of an old-fashioned uh, train, like a train engine, because... and it's called a cow catcher because when the train is uh, riding along on the rails there out in the country, you may eventually run into a cow just like hanging out on the rails and if the cow gets you know sucked underneath the train the whole thing could derail and people would die and it would be a bad time so they would put these metal grates cow catchers on the front to kind of shuffle and <laughs> scoop and knock away cows that may be on the rails and uh, it's kind of a mad max thing too in case you're trying to like plow through a mass of people without getting gummed up getting your tires all gunked up and whatnot uh, that'll let you shovel people away, and it'll be handy for zombies here as well. So I am going to doctor that up a little bit more, just not quite yet. Alright, so that's all I'm going to need wood for. So I'm going to go ahead and toss the rest of these. Wonderful. Um, and then, so I will, I don't know if I like the white. I guess it doesn't hurt. Maybe I don't need to mess with that, honestly. Um, I was thinking of using either maple or... Uh, pine for that, but you know what, maybe I could just get by with that. So next is going to be kind of the trickiest part that I've touched on so far. I want to get some beams. Dang it. <laughs> I forgot to rotate it before I left click. I want to get some beams angling downwards to make kind of a a cockpit type area, I guess. I guess you could say. Um, uh, and this one's going to be kind of touch and go. I don't really know how I want this to angle exactly. If I do that... Oh, gosh. Oops, I moved. Oh, it's so difficult. I think this is more or less where I want it to be. So let's pop that down. Let's see how that looks. That's not horrible. That's not the worst placement I've ever done. And then I want another one to go from it and angle down this way. And this is where it gets kind of tricky because sometimes it doesn't let me angle down as far as I want. Oh man. Okay, this is actually working better than when I was planning stuff though. So is that going to go all the way down to the, the safe? Oh, oh nice! That's way better than when I was practicing. I, I wonder if I had other stuff in the way at the time. Sweet, okay, I'm okay with this. <laughs> this is going better already. All right, so as I try to get these next ones done, let's see, Not Coconut Sparks is asking, what's your favorite food in Unturned and real life? Well, they're definitely very different. 
depending on whether you're in unturned or IRL. Very, very different for me. So in unturned, I would say lettuce is probably my favorite food, which means it really sucks that all of our crops have been destroyed by the other scumbag gangs. Gosh darn scumbag dudes. Um, and then IRL is probably gonna sound like a cop-out answer. I guess not as bad as pizza. Pizza's definitely up there. Um, but I think my favorite food, I'm not even sure if this counts as a food, would have to be Mama's Homemade Chocolate Chip Cookies. Irma Gerd. She, oh, she makes the cookie, you guys. Like, so good. You don't even know. It's just the best. It's like heaven. Heaven in a circular form. Uh, this is starting to look messy. <laughs> this is starting to look a little messier than I intended. But uh, honestly, these beams are coming down further than I was able to get them to before, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, cookies. Oh, man. Chocolate chip cookies are bay. So good. All right, I need to get this plate out of my life because it keeps distracting me. I want more siding. So you go away, there we go, and then we're gonna make up some siding as well, because I need to get more of that action going. Um, let's see, Big Harvey is asking, what is your opinion on cheese? It's amazing. The end. <laughs> that is my opinion. Kanoosh1999 asks, what, or who is your favorite player in Negan's Boys? And I love your videos. Well, thank you, Kanoosh, I appreciate that a lot. Uh, my favorite player on the Negan's Boys is obviously myself, but besides myself, it would have to be none other than our very own PMS Proxy. She is one of the best humans on the planet, not gonna lie. We have been friends for quite a few years now, ever since we both had little itty baby YouTube channels, and we've, we've stuck together through thick and thin since then. And time and time again, she just proves she's amazing. Uh, so definitely the prox face. I'm very glad to have her uh, here on the crew, on the Negan's Boys crew. Um, am I going to be able to place you where I want you? I think that's actually pretty good right there. Rut row. What the crap? Hold on, what just happened there? Did it? consume? I don't think it consumed the item. That was weird. Huh. There we go. I don't know what just happened. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. We can't have that. There's a gap there. That is something I cannot abide by. All right, well, I'm kind of at a point where I need to farm up some more materials, so I'm going to go ahead and get the next two lockers put in place, because I'm going to have one here and one here and farm up a little bit more, and then probably by the time the sun rises again. I will bring you guys back in, we'll wrap up this car, put some of the the decorations on it, I'm itching to get those going, and then uh, just, yeah, just wrap it up, and then wrap up the questions as well. So stay tuned, be right back with you guys. All right, guys, well, I think I'm just about done with what I'm going to do today. There's a couple finer points, some final touches that I'm going to want to do uh, after finishing the recording, but uh, this place has not been giving me as much metal as I feel it usually does, and this thing's just taking a ton of metal uh, in general. So I'm just about wrapped up with the bulk of it, and then maybe at the very beginning of my next episode, or sometime soon, I'll kind of show off the final touches. But, let's see, I have, so I put a little roof on here, I put the other lockers on here, and I started putting in some more of the siding. I also want to have some sandbags up on front here, because I think that would look kind of cool. Maybe right, right about here-ish. Um, here, let me, let me finagle this a little bit better. Right about there. And then on the cow catcher, I want to put a little bit of, oh gosh, <laughs> a little bit of this good stuff, the barbed wire, like a so, 
and like so. So it's not going to be so good at scooping away bad guys, but it's going to be more of a zombie squisher killer thing. And it just looks more Mad Maxy that way, doesn't it? I like that a lot. <laughs> I do, I want to try to put a little siding piece there and there. I'm not sure if it'll fit or not, but I would like to try to round out that edge if at all possible. I was really sad to find out that I cannot put a sentry gun here. It says, like, when you're trying to place it, it says not mobile or something like that. Made me super, super sad because I thought that would be really cool. Speaking of really cool, I'll do it on this side. It's going to be on both sides. Um, this is where it's going to really start looking Mad Maxi. I feel. I'm just going to have spikes. Freaking spikes coming out of my car. Yeah! Oh, it's going to be so bad. <laughs> I, I like this look a lot, honestly. Let's put you like so. And then I'll put one over here. Kind of pointing out like so. And then I'm going to have some rifle racks in between. I'm going to have one there, one around here, and one around here so I can carry tools and spare weapons and stuff. I just realized these two are kind of like out at the same angle too much. Yeah, that doesn't look crazy enough. I think this one needs to be angling back a little bit more. So I'm going to have these on the other side as well. I don't have the, the pipes on me right now, so I'll have to add that back in at a later date. So we will angle it a little more crazy, like so. Yeah, that looks better. And then, I think back at base I have them. Maybe I'll run back and get them as well. I'm going to have sandbag here, sandbag here, some more barbed wire. Um, you know, in fact, I don't really want to leave you guys super hanging. Maybe I should go ahead and run back to base and see what else we have. I also realized recently that you can craft... Um, out of two flares of the same color, you can craft, like, a a wall torch kind of blue flare. And I thought blue flares would look pretty cool. I don't really know... Oh, that gives it a really creepy, cool glow. Oh, that's cool. I don't really know where I want to put them exactly. I kind of just wanted to test them. But that's a good start, at least. I have some other ideas for lighting that I'm going to want to try out as well. Um, now, the issue is going to be I have two vehicles to bring back and only one of me. <laughs> I think hmm, I think I'm going to bring the toiler back first because people are not allowed to mess with this guy. I should make sure that it is locked. Oh, it's so bad trying to find the hotkey. Lock. There we go. So I'm going to come back for this guy, bring it back to base, and then do what final touches we can on it. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, I'm heading back to base with the old girl. Um, I, it occurs to me, I'm gonna have to pick a name for this new vehicle. Last season we had the cop car, the just a car. Um, I'm wondering if you guys can come up with a name that's as cool as that for this new Mad Maxi vehicle. Maybe you have to wait and see it totally finished. I think I will be able to, to wrap it up at least mostly, like 99% finished today. Um, I figured on the way back I should farm up this uh, traffic stop too because these guys can drop uh, scrappable items. And I did hit the uh, the firewatch one last time as I was on my way out and I was much more profitable that time. I even have some more stuff right now. Um, a lot more metal and I got my second gas mask that I found and I found yet another filter. So I think that's like three three filters and two masks while I was sitting there trying to get scrap, so I am more than okay with that. Oh, hey! Sweet smammo! Alright, give me some metal, you guys. Um, as I wrap these guys up, let me hit some of the last questions I've got. Um, I've got one from ddemo565, and he is asking, Hey Cthulhu, heart your vids and channel so much, we'll always love and support you. Thank you so much, dude. Here's my question, if you could be stuck with 10 people on a desert island, who would those 10 people be? That excludes your family, because that's an obvious choice for the first three people. <laughs> um, I, I'm, well, first two people, I'm assuming he's meaning uh, my wifey and my baby. So, I couldn't bring them to the desert island with me? That's horrible. And then he also asks, would you pick me, JK? 
Uh, but would you seriously? <laughs> I'm so confused. Is it JK or is it for reals? Oh man, I'm, I'm on the spot now. 10 people on a desert island. Holy ammo. I don't know if I would want to have that many people on the same desert island with me. I'm kind of the the lone wolf type, honestly. I don't think, like, if I'm going to be stuck and I have a choice of who to be stuck with, I don't think I would choose a full 10, 10 persons, honestly. Um, and you know what? I'm breaking the rules. I would still bring Wifey and Rosie. I, I couldn't not bring them. Like, if I honestly had the choice of who to bring with to get stuck on an island, I'd have to pick them. I mean, it's, it's Wifey and it's Rosie. How could I not? Um... And I'm trying to go through the list. Most of the people I would bring with are honestly family, like extended family. Um, Proxy would probably be one of them, not gonna lie. Proxy is very resourceful. She has done a lot of stuff in her life. She is one tough cookie. I would definitely bring her along. Um... Who else? Jeez, I've got a couple friends from college that I've stuck with since then. I would bring them with... So that adds a few more to the list. I don't know. Like, if I'm going to be stuck on an island, I just want a few, a few of, like, the people I'm very, very close with. And then other than that, I'll just enjoy the peace and quiet. <laughs> There's too many people in this world. I wouldn't mind a little bit of peace and quiet, you know what I'm saying? It probably sounds horrible, but whatever. That's how I feel. <laughs> That's an interesting question, though. That's a tough one to answer. Um, and then, let's see, we also have I'm Futurama Fry 1. Hey Cthulhu, I don't know if you've shared this before or if you're comfortable sharing, but what is your job in real life? Another question I have is what other YouTuber would you like to do a collab with that you have not done with yet? Hmm. <laughs> I also don't really love how these, these posts are placing quite yet, so I might have to, uh, switch them around. Why is the hitbox being super weird on this one? It's like not popping out enough. Is it because I'm at a at an angle here? That's really strange. Let's try to angle it up a little bit more or something. Um, so IRL, my job is pretty boring. I am an integration consultant is what we are called. Uh, basically I'm a contractor, kind of jack-of-all-trades guy. I just do whatever needs to get done. My company sends me off to uh, to different clients to do work for them and I do work and then I get paid that's about it <laughs> that is about it um, and then let's see who would I collab with that I haven't already I've been really lucky honestly and I've been able to collab with most of the youtubers that I am a fan of like was already a fan of so I feel super lucky in that regard. And there really aren't many left that I would want to. I think PSJ. I haven't done anything yet with him on the Gang Z server. I think probably PSJ would be a guy that would be fun. The Cake Boss would be fun to do something with him. That would probably be my answer. I've moved out onto the road here because it's a little more level than what we had going on. It should be a little easier to wrap things up here. Um, so let's see. Last questions. We're getting close to the end here from MetaZoom. How has series with other YouTubers helped your channel? Uh, have you seen huge noticeable spike in views, subs after a collab? I would say kind of yes and no. Um... It's definitely helpful. It's definitely very helpful to do collabs. Can I make a can? Oh, it takes four? Never mind. I'm going to come back to that later. Uh, actually, I need to go grab a can. Um, it does help a ton. A huge part of YouTube is exposure. I, I, I've been saying this for a long time, and I stand by it. You can make the best videos out there, but if nobody ends up finding them, then what's the point, right? Like, it's all about exposure. So some of that can come directly from YouTube if you if you do your stuff well and the YouTube algorithm helps you out. 
Like that can get you a long way right there. Um, but a huge part of it really is getting those collabs going, getting noticed by other people's viewers, and not like spamming your content on their comments and stuff like that, or just kind of being annoying about it, but it's just natural that if you do something with somebody else, they have viewers that you don't already have, and those viewers will then become aware of you. So I think it is really, really important to get collabs out there. Now, when I've done collabs, it's not like automatically this huge spike in views that just blows my mind and like, holy crap, I'm now, I've now made it. Game over, man. But it definitely does help uh, a ton, and I recommend you do it wherever you can. Um, and also like, to make a successful collab, there needs to be something in it for the other guy too. So if I have 8,000 subscribers and I want to collab with someone who's at a million subscribers, like I've got to have something to offer to make it worth their while because view-wise is not going to help them a whole lot, right? Does that make sense? But yeah, so collab when you can is very important for getting your channel off the ground, I feel. Alrighty, so I want to have a little rain barrel back here to catch water, and I might... It's doing it again! What the heck? And it's like still in my hand and everything, but it didn't place. That's super weird. Is that... I don't want it to bump into the safe. Okay, that could even move back a little bit further. Um, but that's kind of the, the gist of it. I want to be able to collect a little bit of water while I'm out and about, just to make life that much easier. And then get some more sandbags. I like the look of the sandbags, especially for this type of Mad Max build feel. Hello? This thing's getting wonky as... There we go. Beautiful. Oh, no, it's not beautiful. It's terrible, actually. <laughs> Why did that... Why did that end up so differently? What? Okay, I guess I have a little bit of a space there. Let's try that again. Um, Fan Fanatic Phantom is asking, favorite dino? I assume, I assume you're talking about an arc. Um, I think that would have to be the Argentavis. I, I don't know if it's technically considered a dinosaur or not, but the Argy is just amazing. It's so useful, it's so versatile, I love it so very, very much. <laughs> definitely, definitely the RG. Um, let's see, I've got extras of those, and I've got extra of that, and that, and that I can scrap up. Oh man, you can scrap a filter. No, thank you, get that out of my life. Buddy Dino is asking, is YouTube your full-time job? Oh man! Hits me right in the feels. <laughs> if I could make it my full-time job, holy cow. That is the dream, folks. The absolute dream. Um, so that's... I, I, I don't know if I'll say that's my goal. My goal is to just have fun doing YouTube. Honestly, if the opportunity arises, if, if the stars align properly, and I am able to make it my full-time job, flipping amazing. I will be over the moon, but uh, I'm, I'm not holding my breath for that either. A lot, a lot of things have to happen for that to become a reality. So, do I want that? abso freaking um, But I'm also not going to, to hold my breath for it, like I said. Alright, so I, I can tell I'm getting sloppier and sloppier with this as I go along, as I get closer to finishing, <laughs> but uh, I think I can live with that. Um, did I not have... Did I put it away? Did I not grab a... Freaking generator? Hold up. Did I not grab a generator? What? I could have sworn I grabbed a generator. I didn't, like, scrap it, did I? Oh gosh. That would be the worst thing ever. Uh, lastly, Tom Seaton is asking, who was the first person you met on Gang Z and didn't know before? It would probably either be PSJ or Chirpa, Chief Chirpa. A lot of the guys uh, on the server I had interacted with before on the, uh, on the Pooping Evolved Arc server. That's where a lot of us came from. Um, 
And PSJ was over there as well, but I never did anything with him there. So probably him, and then Chirpa I definitely had never met until playing on here. And I wish I'd never met him, because the dang guy kills me all the time. <laughs> all the time. Alright, so this cage light is going to be a little something for later. I don't have the stuff required to get that done right now, so I'll have to show that to you guys in a future episode. But right now, I do need to get stuff wrapped up here. This is probably running super long and disjointed, but I think I can at least make a good number of rifle racks right now, a couple of them at least, so you get more of a feel for what's going to be going on there. Rifle rack, rifle rack, rifle rack, and then I can make one more now that I have more space. Glorious. There we go. Awesome! Alrighty, you... Let's see. So I want to have one, like, right by the doors. So there's going to be one there. Watch out for the, the uh, barbed wire. And there's going to be one here. And that leaves me currently with two more. Perfect. So I'll put one right there. And then I'll put one right there. So then you can see I'll just, like, pop... A cool gun on the side or something like that have some stuff for the road some some tools some weapons and things like that and then I'll be geared as I'm going out and about I think I want to work a mannequin into this as well I've just used up all my metal so I'm not gonna be able to do it right now but I would definitely like to get a mannequin going just to kind of add to the ridiculousness of it I suppose I think I might end up moving these flares but what do you guys think it's a little messy, it's a little sloppy, but I think it kind of works for the look and feel I'm going for. I'm going to have a, uh, a generator up here, and then I guess I'll probably do this off camera so I won't show you now, but I'm going to drive this guy over to uh, a mechanic shop, jack it up so I can get underneath, and I'm going to put a couple of these cage lights underneath facing down so I'll have some cool light spilling out from underneath the car. Um, people who are really into souping up their vehicles will do that sometimes for like race cars and stuff like that. Um, and I, it just seems like a cool thing to do. <laughs> so I want to try that out. Um, give me suggestions for how I could wrap up the rear end here. And like I said, the, uh, the generator will be here. This will also be kind of a place where I can like shoot from and whatnot. Uh, if I so desire. And then I got the spikes going and all that. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. For my first attempt at a custom car, I think, I think I'm hitting that Mad Max vibe. It's what I was really going for. I'm not going for perfection. I'm going for kind of, kind of crazy. This thing turns on a dime for a six-wheeler? Holy mackerel. But yeah, I, I like these custom vehicles. They they drive pretty fast. They turn well, apparently. Seems like they have a pretty decent uh, fuel capacity. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I might even... Hold up. This is probably going to be dangerous to have, but I think it would look cool. Anything Mad Max has to have a lot of spikes and whatnot. So I think I'm going to put a few more spikes up here. That could be a mistake, though, because to get up top, I do ride, or I, I do hop up on the front and then yump over. So maybe maybe that would be too much of a mistake. Maybe I'll just put more spikes on the back, <laughs> because why not? <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm not sure how this turned out. I was, I was trying to talk and derp and build all at the same time, so I hope you guys enjoyed it regardless of how it turned out. Uh, thank you for all of you who submitted questions made it a lot of fun. It was very nice to be able to answer those, so thanks for your participation. Um, and then let me know if you liked the AMA. I don't know if I would do AMA again while building. Maybe if I... Oh, what the crap? Why did all that stuff drop out? What? Did I, like, lose some clothing I was wearing? Top, rucksack... Hey! Why, why you come off, Vest? Why you do? What the heck? Um, but yeah, if I need to do some looting or something, I might do another AMA, so let me know what you guys think about that. Alright, well, thank you very much for watching. Oh, gosh, it's so sad. I'll catch you guys again next time for some more Unturned on the Gang Z server.